Hello the internet, it is Monday the 5th of December 2022 and welcome back to the channel. I got a little, uh, little gripe here with Twitter and I think this will uh, demonstrate or this may seek to demonstrate as to why Twitter is still shitty. So the situation involves me copping a ban uh, for well, let me let me remember what it was. Let me just go to Twitter and bring up my Twitter account. Okay, here we go. Let's make this large. Uh, Twitter violating our rules regarding counterfeit goods. An individual or a company has reported your account for being in violation of the Twitter rules, specifically our rules regarding counterfeit goods. And they're specifically referring to this live stream, Tunisia v Australia FIFA World Cup watch along reaction live stream. I tweeted that on the 26th of November it is now the 5th of December. Now we'll come back to this in a moment, but I want to just explain why that stream and every other World Cup stream that I did is not in violation of anything, simply because we didn't broadcast any of the game. We watched along. So what I was doing was I'd have SBS on demand playing the stream, the live feed of the World Cup, in this case, Tunisia v Australia. And then I would have, it was just Doug that called up. I'd have Doug call in and he'd be on a panel with me and we'd both be watching the same broadcast, not putting it through OBS, just in our own ears. So we'd make sure we're in time with the stream and we'd watch and we'd comment as if we were commentators on the stream. So I didn't broadcast any of the game, but what I think they did or what I think happened here, when you see a title of a live stream on YouTube, it looks like this is, I mean, if you didn't, if you didn't read it all, it looks like I'm broadcasting the game. So obviously this is a mistake, right? So I go ahead and read the rest of this comment here. And it says, by clicking remove, you are removing the content of your tweet and all other edited versions of the tweet and foregoing the option to appeal this violation. Please note that the original content will be replaced with a notice stating your tweet is no longer available because it violated the Twitter rules. This notice will be accessible via a direct URL and via your profile for 14 days. So if I click that remove button, basically I'm accepting that this stream is violating their content, uh, violating their rules regarding counterfeit goods. And if I click remove, if you feel that your account has been locked in error, you can appeal by contact contacting our support team here. So what do you think I did? Being me, of course I appealed. Now that was the 26th of November. As it stands, the 5th of December, I still don't have a response and therefore my Twitter account has been locked. The generic email that did come back looks like this. Where is it? The generic email says, hello, we're reviewing your appeal. We'll respond as soon as possible. And we appreciate your patience while we review your account. Thanks, Twitter. So that's from the 26th of December, uh, November through to the 5th of December. Now, the reason I'm making this video today is because I had a pretty big uh, photographic, uh, uh, I'm going to use the word assignment. That sounds too professional. I got featured from a photo that I shot of the Pixies at the Sydney Opera House. Live Nation uh, gave me access and I shot a stage shot of the Pixies in front of the Opera House and they've been using that all day across their socials. And I was asked, we can't access your Twitter, so we can't tag you in your Twitter. It's frozen. And I'm like, of all the days for my Twitter to not be available because of this shitty counterfeit crap that doesn't even, it's not even real. I'm missing out on all this interaction, all this potential reach through Twitter. Thank you from Live Nation Australia. And I can't access it because of this crap from Twitter. So my point is, if I was to go ahead and just say, oh, I'll remove this. Like if I had have said, yep, cool, remove the remove the content. I broadcasted uh, content that breaches all your terms. Uh, go ahead and, and remove it. Then I'm accepting guilt. 
I'm saying, yeah, I did the wrong thing. When if you want me to bring up my freaking it's still on YouTube, you want me to show you the actual stream? Let me just bring that up. I didn't have it keyed in because I didn't think I'd be needing it, but let me just bring up my channel. I'm going to show Hey, hello, the internet. I'm going to show you what we're dealing with here. We go down to my channel here, folks. Uh, Tunisia versus Australia. This is the streaming question. So these are generic uh, uh, soft, uh, generic sounds of a... It's pretty loud. They're just generic sounds that I got off royalty-free sounds. So that's the intro. Not broadcasting the game. Skip forward to the actual game. Here we are just watching. So grab a VPN, come and watch it. Hit it live. Make it full screen on your screen. I'm not broadcasting anything there that I shouldn't be. Then Doug joined me. Doug also was watching the stream on SBS On Demand. We're not broadcasting the stream. And that's how the stream rolled for the whole game. What year was that? Sorry, 1976. So my, my point here, my main point is that because of Twitter's inability to action this content with some kind of urgency, 26th of November, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, that's nine days since I lodged the appeal and absolutely nothing has happened. And I've missed out on this really cool engagement from Live Nation Australia on the back of a great photograph I took of the Pixies and I haven't been able to engage it because Twitter have still got me banned. Yo, Elon, I thought you were going to fix this shit, dude. I thought this was going to be the greatest place, the town square where you can voice your opinions. I didn't do anything wrong. You Now you know what I'm going to have to do? I'm going to have to go ahead and just click on this freaking remove button, right? I'm going to have to go ahead and do that myself. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go and do it now. I'm going to what, watch what happens here. Watch what happens here. This is me acknowledging that, yeah, okay, I did something wrong. Watch this. Remove. Thank you for addressing the issue. Your account is now available for use. To prevent future lockouts or account suspension, please review the Twitter rules and help us maintain a safer environment. What a load of fucking shit, Elon. Fix this crap. Now my Twitter account's back up. And do I have engagement from this tweet? I do not. Unbelievable. 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 I'm, I'm, that's super frustrating. Elon Musk, you need to fix that crap. I'm too frustrated to talk about it anymore.